we're going to make sheet pan quesadillas. Now, I like this one because you get to use up whatever you have in your fridge and make these wonderful, lovely flour tortillas turn into toasty, grilled Mexican goodness. So today, what we have is we had some spinach, we had some shredded cheddar, I had some sliced cheddar, I had some pre-cooked chicken, and then I had some uh, different types of peppers, poblano pepper, jalapeno pepper, some colored peppers, and a half an onion. So I'm like, let's cook that up. So um, we're going to bring in a little bit of spice, a little bit of chili powder and cumin and salt. And then once we've assembled our quesadillas, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to melt this butter down and then uh, spread that butter all across the top. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble our sheet pan quesadilla. You're gonna need seven quesadillas, and let me explain why. We're gonna place them so that they hang over the edge just a little bit. We want them to overlap, but not by too much. And I'll show you this in just a sec here. All right, there's six quesadillas. We're gonna spread them up just a little bit more. And then notice we have a couple of places showing here in the middle. This is why we need seven. We're gonna take our last quesadilla and just put it right here, our last tortilla rather, and put it right here in the middle. So here we have it. We have our seven tortillas, flour tortillas, laid out on the sheet pan. And what we want to do is we want to just make sure that we don't have any gaps, but that we're not overlapping too much because we want to be able to fold these over. So I'm going to set them up nicely so that that happens. The next thing we want to do is we want to put down a layer of cheese. So I'm going to start with the sliced cheese and I'm going to put down a nice layer so that these are good and cheesy. You want to make sure that you're inside the sheet pan. So let's just get some of these peeled off here. This is just some store-bought pre-sliced cheddar so that we have a nice base for our quesadillas. And don't worry, it's going to get more cheese than this. So I'm going to do six slices of cheese here. So that each quesadilla has got, and you can feel where the edge of your pan is, don't be afraid to go to the edge because we're going to be folding this, but don't go over the edge. That's the trick. All right, and you can offset them if you want a little bit, it's up to you, however you want to do that. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to get our protein in there. That was our chicken. So this was some pre-cooked chicken that I did in the Instapot earlier in the week. I always have chicken on hand. It's a great meal prep idea to have some chicken because you could make quesadillas, you can make chicken salad, anything you like when you have your chicken pre-done. All right, I'm just gonna kind of shred it a little bit better, make sure that every bite's got some chicken in it. If you like it chunky, that's fine. You can go ahead and just leave your chicken in bigger chunks or you could just cut it instead of shredding it. You could also use rotisserie chicken, leftover chicken of any kind, really. I would avoid the barbecue sauce unless you're going to do barbecue quesadillas. All right, next we wanna get in our spinach. So we're just gonna put some spinach leaves in here. Don't any that don't look good. There we go. We get our leftover baby spinach leaves in. And our pepper mixture. So uh, we love peppers and onions in this house. So we want to make sure that we get lots of peppers and onions. And this is a great way to get more vegetables in your diet. Rather than just having the salsa on the top, you now can have the salsa inside as well. If you like tomatoes, sure, you could add tomatoes in there. We're gonna serve it with salsa on the top. 
And let's not forget our spices. So I'm gonna just mix them up with my finger just slightly. And then we're just gonna sprinkle some spice on there so that we've got a nice consistent flavor going through. And lastly, we're gonna put on our cheese. So let's go ahead and get the rest of that shredded cheese. This was just some leftover shredded cheese from taco night. Let's use it up. And now comes the test of folding it all over. So what we're gonna wanna do is fold in our sides and our edges. So see how nicely those fold right over? Just like this. Let's fold our edges in. Press them down. And remember, we don't want any opening, right? So this is where the eighth quesadilla is gonna come in play from the package. Let me get this folded over as much as we can. Let's see if we can bring that over just a little bit more. There we go. And we have one last sole quesadilla that we're gonna put right there on the top. So here we have everything, just pressing it down a little bit. Now we wanna take our butter that we've melted and let's get the butter all over the top of it. Just gonna give it that nice brown color. And I'll put exact amounts in the recipe when I post it. But now let me show you the next step in the process. Once we've got that butter on there, we're sure that we've got a good amount, a generous amount. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our sheet pan, our second sheet pan, and we're gonna put it right here on the top, press it down, so it's nice and firm all the way around. And then we're gonna put it in the oven, just like this, at 450 degrees for 20 minutes. And we'll be back to show you what the final product looks like. All right, it's been 20 minutes. Let's get a reveal of what these look like. Oh, they look fantastic. They smell fantastic. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer them to the cutting board so that I could slice them up. Let's see how that works. Look, I'm brave, aren't I? <laughs> Go ahead and slice these up and get these onto a platter and here we have our sheet pan quesadillas put a little green onion over the top of them serve it with a little bit of fresh salsa or your favorite jar or pre-made salsa some sour cream if you like black olives you could also do black olives would be lovely on top here but I just want to kind of give you an idea and look how beautiful they are on the inside. Now, if you were doing these as an appetizer, you could cut them again into smaller triangles, but we're doing these as a luncheon. So here we have it, but an easy way to make a lunch for a group. Your kids will love it, your friends will love it. Thanks for watching, Meal Prep Made.